So, you remember I'm working at a construction site for uh, the guy that was uh, um, led to the Wrigley gum, you know, that his uh, dad or something, or grandfather, I can't remember which, but uh, started Wrigley gum. I mean, part of the Illuminati, right? Well, here's the thing is, look at these drums. I asked him what the heck these are. See those big drums? You know what they are? Water collection. They're here to collect water. Now, I'm going to explain more about this. This is very interesting. This plant, this, this entire building here, this house, I mean, this building is so large, is he's designed it to be 100% off the grid. That's what I just said. 100% off the grid. Everybody, everybody else is trying to get off the grid as well, right? And why would he be wanting to get off the grid? Because he knows something's coming, folks. He knows they can finally shut the power. You know, shut the water and everything else. It does have water I mean, right now, fed from the city. But uh, right there, see, because you know you can't, you know you can't engage in the system. Probably even him, you know, because he's going to be, you know, you know, he's a part of the problem, part of the one world government, one religion. I'm not judging him. I don't know for a fact. But I'm saying, but if he is, which I think he is. That um, he needs to be off the grid as well. They're going to try to hide under rocks. They're going to try to do whatever they can, right? It says in Scripture, right? So he himself is getting off the grid out here, you know? Maybe there's a reason he doesn't have any windows on this damn thing, too, right? Kind of crazy, huh? It's all real, folks. Even the elite want off the grid. All of us want off the grid. We want to get out of the cities and the, all the filth, the evil and stuff. Everybody wants to get off the grid. Well, I don't know if you do, but everybody else, a lot of us do. I want off the grid. When, you know, I don't want to be dependent on the system, the beast system. Because they're going to crank on these people. Can't talk too long here, right? So anyway, I'm going to leave this place. He's going to get himself off the grid. But he's got secured down there. You know what I mean? So, you got to be kidding me. There's so much to say about this. I mean, I'm going to show you a little bit more about this place again. This thing is huge. He's got himself a luxury off the grid. He said, oh, yeah, they said everything. Solar panels are putting in. They're putting in everything uh, to get off the grid. Everything. There's your camera. So you got to be careful, folks. I don't even care. I don't really care. But, so, uh, anyway, this thing will be off the grid. Kind of surprising. We're on the edge of Phoenix. There would be no really reason for him to try to save a buck getting off the grid. No tax incentive. Other than he needs to get, he knows he needs to get off the damn grid. He can't depend on the, his own beast system, though. They're only not trying to point him out, the beast system himself. This thing's massive, though. This crap. This is one of the entry, the entire place is like a hall. Dining hall. Right there. How big that is. I think it stretches all around back there. I can't, I need to keep moving. That's why I can't do it all. But this thing is, um, crazy, huh? <laughs> it's all real, folks. Be ready. Because it's going to be like Hollywood. Worst nightmare movie or thing. If you're not with God. If you're with God, you have nothing to fear. So I go into Disneyland. The world's going to be like Disneyland, Disney World. One side, you're in the haunted house, haunted mansion. The other side, you're on the carousel. And you're doing your duty. And I'm not making fun of it. But at least you're on the right side of Disneyland. All right. God bless and love you all.